Pilates fundamental, it's called knee sway, and it's really about rotation of the pelvis or the hips, right? So we talked briefly about neutral pelvis, having the hip points on the same plane side to side. Um, neutral pelvis also means that there's no rotation in the hips, meaning one hip is not forward or back of the other hip points, right? So we're gonna play with the idea of, of rotating and coming back to neutral rotating and coming back to neutral. So we're gonna start on our back, knees bent, feet flat on the floor. We're gonna slide the feet knees all the way together. And you're gonna take your arms straight out to a T shape if you have the space. Another comfortable position would be kind of a goal post position. This is a little more stretchy in the shoulders. I prefer this. Palms are up and that just gives me the ability to imprint my shoulder blades into the floor. So my hip points are, I'm starting with a neutral pelvis. I have a little natural curve under my lower back. Let's just take a few bodies for us here. Inhale through your nose, sense the breath in the back body. Exhale, sigh it out for the rib cage close and the abdominals engaged. And then inhale through your nose, fill the middle back with breath. And exhale, sigh it out, knit the ribs together and engage the abdominals. So on your next inhale, we're gonna roll the knees and hips to the right. So my legs move as a unit. I'm gonna end on the outer edge of my right foot. So my pelvis rotates, my shoulder blades stay stable. And then exhale, I come right back to center, neutral pelvis. Inhale, I'll roll to the left. So I'm gonna end up on the outer edge of my left foot. Exhale, I use my breath to pull my rib cage and hips back to center. Inhale, rotate, my knees and hips move as a unit, my upper back stays stable. Exhale, close the ribs, engage the abdominals, feel the exhale pulls my hips back to center. So I'm not swinging, I'm moving via my breath. Inhale, fill the back body as you rotate, I'm rotating my pelvis. And exhale, center. So feel, put your hands on your hip points. You want to think of the hip point coming off the floor, going straight up to the ceiling, but not up towards your ear. So it's not a side bend, it's just a rotation. So on the inhale, that hip point goes to the ceiling, it comes off the floor. And then on an exhale, the navel pulls in and it comes right back to center. So my pelvis is rotating without hiking one hip higher than the other. Inhale, my second side, I lift the hip point, my hips rotate. But there's no hiking, I'm not hiking that hip higher. It's hard to feel. And then exhale, center. Again, inhale to rotate, fill the middle back with breath. Exhale, close the ribs, engage the abdominals, feel the abdominals, pull the hips to center. Again, inhale to rotate, breathe into that mid back. So no side bend, just a rotation. And exhale, center. Final on each side, reach the arms wide apart. Inhale, the shoulder blades, whole upper back is super glued to the floor, so there's a stretch across my shoulders. Exhale, use the abdominals to come to center. And then find one, inhale to rotate. And exhale to center. Up goes to your knees into your chest, round your back. Again, learning how to rotate our hips without any side bend, which is tough. So what I was talking about is this idea of the hip coming forward and back, forward and back without this action, right? And this is one of the hardest things for us to proprioceptually feel. Um, rotation, it's where a lot of injuries come from, is spinal rotation, because we have other movements. So just distinguishing that we're just rotating the spine with no side bend. So play with it, incorporate it into your other practices, have fun, heal.